horrific murder that we saw on video. And it's going to take strong leadership from cities all across the country. And these city leaders are strong leaders and the right leaders for these challenging times that we are going through. Mayor, I am so old. How old are you? <laughs> I am so old that I walked in the first Unity Walk, what is that, 20 years ago, back when I was uh, serving on the Phoenix uh, City Council. And the event has grown in size, but I would also argue the event has grown in importance. The cities represented up here are some of the fastest growing cities in the United States of America, but they're also growing, thankfully, in diversity. And having the right leaders to make sure that the diverse communities that make up the East Valley are welcomed socially, educationally, economically into these communities, it's critical for our success. We can only solve our challenges if we do it together. And that's what this walk is all about. And Mayor, of course, I really want to thank you and the other mayors and city council members for reaching out to the youth. Uh, the youth are so well represented here. I was very impressed by their work. And all of you to bring in the youth to the decision making in the city is smart because they're not just the leaders of tomorrow. Those are the leaders right now of today. Enjoy today's Unity Walk. Thanks for doing this every year. It's awesome. Excellent. I want to make sure, too, that I give a proper introduction as well to Mesa City Council. Jen Dupp and Julie Spillsbury as well. We can bring up representatives from each city here to see if they would uh, be willing to provide a few words here. I might start with the mayors. Uh, but the closest one to me is Mayor Valerie Molina from Guadalupe. Woo! Guadalupe in the house tonight. I can see what's going on. Yeah. Thank you, Mayor Woods. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate you for putting on this great event for everybody and it is about unity and it is about getting together our brotherhood our sisterhood so i appreciate all the guadalupanos that showed up tonight and all the other sister cities that are here so thank you and guadalupanos <laughs> thank you so much mayor Molina. next up i'm going to look here i see mayor bridget peterson from the town of gilbert mayor Thank you, Mayor Woods. It is such an honor to be here again this year in Tempe. Thank you for continuing to host this event. I want to give a shout out to the members of Team Gilbert that are joining me here this evening, members of my Mayor's Youth Advisory Committee that are here this evening. I want to thank you for your work. I think there's a zone you need to stay in, so I'm trying not to move, but I'm a move. So. Thank you for your awards, Mayor Woods. Thank you, Congressman Stanton, for joining. And also backing up Mayor Woods' there, uh, words there, please. Um, I look forward to this walk every year. I think it's a great opportunity for us to come out as a region and to show everyone that we can walk <coughs> together and be united no matter what here in Maricopa County. That is what we are all about is working together, serving together, living together, and tonight, walking. <laughs> Fortunately, the, all, all of us are in elected office, so we're used to projecting, which is very good. My Next up from the city of Chandler, Mayor Kevin Harkey. Wow, well, I guess one of my claims to fame one of my claims to fame is I think I was also here 20 years ago, and I used to ride my bike here when these were in the morning, and then we would do that, and I would uh, have breakfast in Tempe and ride back to Chandler. So our prayers and our resolve are for Memphis and our own cities here, that we would continue to do the hard work to make sure that our community, all of our community, is safe, and all of our community is represented. I do want to acknowledge we acknowledged member Odie Harris, but we also have some members of our Human Relations Commission, Erica Maxwell and Shannon Begay. We have some of our amazing DEI staff here, Adriana Erickson. I'm not sure 
if others have shown up, as well as our city attorney, Ms. Swab. So, Chandler is known as an inclusive place for all. We are the most diverse city in all of Arizona, and we are proud of that. Our, tonight, we celebrate that diversity around our region, and we walk in solidarity with our friends in the region. So thank you all for coming. I see you green shirts in the audience. All right, next up here, we have the mayor of the city of Mesa, Giles. Thank you, Corey. I'm gonna stand really still because people are telling me not to move. Uh, we all know that what, what, part of what we love about the East Valley is the diversity. Uh, it, that's part of what makes us a great place to live. We uh, celebrate each year the Dia de los Muertos in Mesa, and that is, frankly, the funnest thing that we do all year long. And people come from miles around just to celebrate the diversity and the cultural uh, experience of, of diversity in Mesa. Uh, and uh, the events of the last week where we've seen uh, horrific things in Memphis, we've seen attacks on the Asian community in, in uh, California, are very sobering, uh, but they underscore why we are here. Our work in this area is really just beginning. So I, I hope that uh, we'll take the power and that, that we feel to, today and, and help make sure that these uh, horrific things that we're seeing in other parts of the country uh, are very, that they're just not gonna happen here. We're not gonna follow it. Uh, I'm proud that Mesa, uh, a week ago at, the, at our MLK event, we dedicated a Martin Luther Luther King Jr. Street in downtown Mesa. Um, a month or two before that, we did Calle Cesar Chavez, a, 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 another wonderful street in downtown Mesa. Uh, we're very proud of our non-discrimination ordinance, and we're, and we're very proud of a city campaign we launched called Together Mesa. So I, I think all of us, the, the point of all this is, is, is diversity and, and inclusion. It just needs to be baked into everything that we do as a community. And I know that that's certainly true of the communities that are here today. So thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting this event. Thank you, Mayor Woods, for the opportunity to participate. Thank you so much, Mayor Chuck. Next we have from Mayor Kate Gallego's outreach team, Sophie rodriguez Bogren. Not here, okay. Sure, go for it, please. Hi, I'm not Sophie Rodriguez. I'm another person from our team. She was caught up in another one of the mayor's events. Um, but I know that, you know, Phoenix, the fifth largest city, that comes with a lot of diversity, a lot of stakeholders, a lot of businesses that we are so incredibly lucky to have. Um, last week, or I believe it two weeks ago, we had our MLK uh, March and Parade. Uh, we had the torch run, and we had an amazing turnout with that. Um, I know that we're speaking to some Native American communities to officially um, place a dedication on their indigenous land. And so, in general, we just are incredibly lucky to be here. We're incredibly lucky to be part of this amazing Chandler, Mesa, just the greater Phoenix Valley. And we are so incredibly lucky to serve the constituents, not only of just Tempe, our own, but just all of Arizona. Thank you. You're great. Oh, great. Yeah. And from the city of Scottsdale, Human Relations Commission Chair Emily Hinchman. Thank you, Mayor Woods, and thank you, Mayor Woods, the annual regional unity walk. April, it'll be two years since Scottsdale passed the non Hello. <laughs> the non-discrimination ordinance. And myself, along with our entire Human Relations Commission, most of which are here tonight, are committed to discourage prejudice and discrimination, encourage mutual respect and understanding, and continue to towards cultural awareness and unity. As my hero, the late great John Lewis, said, we're one people, we all live in the same house, not the American house, the world house. So thank you and have a great evening. Thank you. I'd also like to recognize all of the Human Relations Commissioners from each city who are here with us today. These are the residents who volunteer all year to help bring us together. So for all the human...
labor relations commissioners from every city. Can you please give us a wave and get a big round of applause? Let's go, dear. I'm trying to stand at that same spot as well here, so I'm just going to stand right here, very still. I want to thank the incredible staff from each of the cities that helped to organize this walk as well. From the city of Chandler, Nikki Tapia. From the town of Gilbert, Melody Dykstra. From the city of Mesa, Andrea Alicote. From the city of Phoenix, Anissa Blair. From the city of Scottsdale, Jackie Johnson. And Tempe's own equity and inclusion manager, Miss Jenny Belusic. And also, of course, thank you to the... Thank you as well to the incredible Norma Alicia Blanco for emceeing the festival and for all the wonderful entertainment provided by the Aaron Nelson Project. Now, right before we get started with the walk, I want to make sure to also acknowledge a number of other groups that are here today with us as well. We have Tempe Pride. We have our City of Tempe employees. The Tempe Human Relations Commission. Tempe Mayor's Youth Advisory Commission. The Chandler Human Rights Commission. City of Chandler employees. The Gilbert Mayor's Youth Advisory Committee. Engagement Task Force, Unite Gilbert, Mesa Hispanic Network, Mesa Human Relations Commission, Mesa Mayor's Youth Council, the Phoenix Human Relations Commission, the Phoenix Equal Opportunity Department, the Scottsdale Human Relations Commission, the City of Scottsdale Diversity Advisory Committee, and the Scottsdale Mayor's Youth Council. Give them all a big round of applause. All right, I'd now like to invite up the Corona Del Sol drummers here. As you can see, uh, Council Member Hodge, also Tempe Union High School District Governing Board Member Hodge. I'd like to invite the Corona Del Sol drummers. Mallory, uh, I forgot your name. For unity and peace, what would it be? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. If you were to turn something in what I look for, for unity and peace, what would it be? Um, just trying to bring our youth together, together, uh, trying to to have all our people that live in Guadalupe to be one and love each other and just to embrace each other and just get along with each other. So. What would you say? I took the words out of my mouth. It starts with the youth. We gotta be able to change cycles, break cycles. 
pickles and just build a better future. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Bye. 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 Bye.